Captain Slog. Well, 2nd of April, and despite surgery and more surgery to come, I'm out of the water. Oh my god, it's good. I have missed this. Six months not being able to sail has been so difficult. But yeah, it's a nice day, and the wind's, what, 15 knots? And uh, yeah, we're out and we're sailing. Happy days. I'm focused I've been watching for the omens I've been listening to everything you said It's been running through my head Locked and loaded I got the feeling that you know it Yeah, I've only just begun I won't stop until it's done Till you broke So you can see here I've got the uh, Orca Pilot on my phone and on a £200 waterproof tablet and I'm using it for navigation and to drive the autopilot. It's working really well as well. I mean, you think for 400 quid for the uh, Orca Pilot and another 200 quid for a cheap uh, Orcitel tablet, it's, done a, it's doing really well. Um, I'm wondering why I spent four grand on a Zeus, to be honest, but I suppose I needed that to drive the, the autopilot and everything else. So. Well, it's not all glamour on the high seas. Lunch on the hoof. I've got some bread and I got some chicken. And I will be mashing them up and then swallowing them to get some sustenance because I haven't really eaten for 24 hours and I really should. So, bon appetit. Another added bonus uh, down below, and we have one of the iPads streaming to an Apple TV. So we can now, down below, see where we are, see what we're doing, see our heading, and uh, yeah, just extra situational awareness. Something better than the look of this. Yes, the sign. Yeah, all very good. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure what's just happened, but the engine just seems to have cut out. Uh, I, ref I put fuel in before leaving Gosport, and we've only had the engine running for four or five hours, so we, do we shouldn't have run out of fuel. Um, so I'm guessing maybe there's a blockage in the fuel pipe. Um, oh, that's great. Uh, we are, where are we? We're just off. Yeah, we're just off the coast of Swanage. Uh, well, no, about mattress, ma matra worship matrathers or something. Anyway, yeah. So we're about five, eight miles off the coast and heading towards St Albans Head. Um, wind's picking up. So anyway, um, let's go work out what's going on.
Well, that doesn't look good. Well, that was scary. Um, Open the engine bay to have a look, and I uh, was just greeted by I thought it was smoke. I thought the engine was on fire. <sighs> Turns out it was um, coolant. Uh, just lots of steam. Uh, set the smoke alarms off, uh, so I thought the engine was on fire. Uh, there's not much I can do. The uh, wind's picking up, so I'm going to put the sails up and sail the rest of the way to Portland. Um, instead of getting there for midnight, I'm probably going to get there about 2am now. Uh, I guess what I have to do is sail into Portland Harbour, uh, the Outer Harbour, uh, drop the hook and get the get the marina to tow me in in the morning, because um, yeah, I, mean, I could try and sail on. It depends what the wind's like, whether I could sail into the marina or not. Uh, but yeah, that was scary. Uh, so I really did think the engine was on fire at one point. Uh, grabbed a fire extinguisher, had another look, and um, all the steam had dissipated. But um, no point in trying to restart the engine because with no coolant, it'll just melt down or die or seize or whatever. So ah, anyway, yep, <laughs> sailing, love it. So onwards and upwards, and um, let's get to Portland. Uh, yeah, let's get the sails up. So yeah, so the Coast Guard are well, here, and we're just waiting for daylight basically. Um, tide's going out, and they say they don't think they can tow me out, and I might need to get rescued, um, but commercially. I guess we'll find out when daylight comes. <laughs> <laughs> 